What up, soul fam? I'm essential. <laughs> I'm just leaving work now. Going home. It is 5:11. 5:11. The 11. For those of you that have been following me for quite some time, know that I have this connection with the number 11. It's just really strange. I don't know how or why, but it's always 11s around me and since 2000 and two or 2003 the first time I saw something that had to do with the number 11 um, that turned into synchronicities was the number 911 and I was going through something horrible at that time in my life and I thought it was um, I thought it was really bad really really bad like 9-1-1, 9-11, and then I kept seeing 9-11 all the time, and it got to a point where um, on the VHS, I would uh, put a, a, the, is, it, what, is that what it is, a VHS, those big ass tapes that you stick into the thingy to watch a movie that wasn't a DVD, you know, back then, <laughs> the dinosaur way of watching movies, um, VHS, yeah, VHS used to stick one of those right in front of the, the VHS player. And then I would see it on license plates or um, addresses. It would just pop up in other, in other ways. And it, it was literally making me go insane. And I spoke about it all the time. And everybody's like, it's because you're expecting it and you're programming yourself to see it. And I'm like, no, I'm not programming myself to see it on a license plate. And then from 9-11, it just turned into like 11, 8-11, 7-11. Anyways, now it's 5-13. Another number, 13. I have this connection with 11 and 13. They go hand in hand with each other. Every time I see the 11, boom, I see the 13. But um, guess what? I got the clear to close. Yes! I am so fucking excited because it has been rough. Let me tell you, I'm living out of boxes since January, and um, it's all it's messing up my whole feng shui, and my energy is not right. I'm off balance. I'm just a mess. Now I'm happy, so I guess they have two days or whatever to talk to a lawyer, to my lawyer, and to set this date so we could go sit down and sign our life away. <laughs> um, so that's some really good news. How have you guys been doing? How are you guys hanging out? Hanging in? Hanging in there? Sorry, my brain, I'm just like, I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm a little tired and um, talking to you. I just have a hundred thousand things zipping through my head right now. So if I don't make sense, that's why. Um, I'm just excited. Ah, I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll be moving. Finally, finally. And I'll be able to do it during this time that we have, you know, due to this virus, we're not all working 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 hours a week. So I actually have the time to do it. So um, that's a blessing. So I cannot wait. So yeah, how's it going for all you guys? What's going on in your lives? And how are you feeling? How are you coping with this whole quarantine? I've been in quarantine since March 22nd, I think was my last day at work. I've been out for three weeks and I went back to work um, last week. I only work two days a week now. Um, even though I've been working even, you know, from home, because I, I manage a marina and a restaurant. It's, it's, uh, it's all in the same building. So I can't, you know, just give up and not respond back to anybody. And I have email linked to my laptop, my phone. So I've literally still been working, just not 40 hours a week, driving myself crazy. So what else? What else? I've been walking on the treadmill a lot. Um, I've been binge watching Hulu and Netflix. Um... I had a few downloads come in that I did not share with you guys as of yet. I will. Uh, one of them, uh, I'll tell you one of them right now is to not 
get too caught up in politics. Like, I really don't give a rat's ass about politics. I don't do the whole voting thing because to me they're all puppets and somebody's pulling their strings anyway. But there's this weird thing that's going on and I've been really um, drawn in to politics. And it's really strange because politics is the most boring subject that's on the planet right now. But I feel like this is what I'm seeing. And I, you know, you may not agree with me and that's okay. Um, I don't do the whole voting, so I don't really care if Trump is our president or not. It really makes no difference to me because even if it was somebody else, we would not agree with that person anyways. But from what I see, I it feels like the president is two people. Sometimes I see the president as the leader of the United States and somebody is pulling his strings and he's like, I am the president of the United States and this is huge or whatever, okay? And then I see a guy that has empathy, compassion for the human race, not just the Americans, the human race. There's something going on behind this whole flu virus agenda. Um, I've never followed Q. I didn't even know what it was, QAnon. Um, all of a sudden, I've been kind of drawn into Q, not even knowing what I was being drawn into and reading and, and, and looking. So QAnon is kind of like another hole. Alice in Wonderland, jumping into these holes, red pilling it up all day. Craziness. But the channeling that came through was not to get too caught up into politics. And that's good. I didn't want to get caught up in it anyways. I'd rather watch paint dry. Um, I'm observing it. And there's a lot going on. And I hear both sides out. The, you know, the people that hate, the people that love. They all have good points. Both sides. But I'm seeing something. I'm noticing something. And I don't know if what he's doing is genuine. It kind of feels that way. But then I remember a channeler years ago saying, you know, beware of false prophets. Then that came to my mind, like, oh shit, what if he's a false prophet? You know, us as the mass collective has, we raised our vibration to this point and the dark side doesn't have this grip on us like they used to. So how can we spin this and get them back? Ah, let's make their evil president look like a saint. I don't know. I'm just speculating, you guys. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Um, I'm really conflicted. I don't know what to think. I'm just observing. So maybe he is a good guy, maybe not. Even though I do see some good of what he's doing. And sometimes when I'm watching him, I have this connection like, whoa, he's really doing this from the heart, you know, getting rid of or not funding the World Health Organization. Bravo. You know, fuck them, fuck Bill Gates and Melinda Gates and Dr. Fauci. Falsy. Dr. Demon. I don't agree with any of what they're talking about. That's not me observing. That's me. That's my ego voicing an opinion. Um, anyways. There's just so much going on on this planet. It's crazy. It's all crazy. Um, don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm a sovereign being. And I just want to let everybody know I'm a sovereign being. And I do not give the cabal, the dark powers that be, permission to use me as an experiment. I do not give them permission to do their evil lab tests on me. I do not give them permission to inject me with their poison. I'm taking my power back as a sovereign being. And like a good friend of mine on YouTube that is also a YouTuber mentioned that the coronavirus was created to cause harm. The, she didn't know sh why she was created to do this. She's doing it. So 
he changed my perspective a little bit about it. Um, and, you know, kind of showed me a new way to look at it or, and have a, a new way to feel about it. How she was created to be a killer, it's not really her fault. So we should forgive her because she doesn't know what she's doing. But she does know what she's doing, but she doesn't know why she's doing it. She was just created that way. So if we accept her, we forgive her, and we send her love, she will just fade away. And then I saw somebody else write the same thing today. It was so weird. It was wicked weird. Because um, the glitch told me about this maybe like two weeks ago. It could have been three weeks ago. And um, I feel the same way that we should do that to the evil that is circling us. You know, that's trying to hurt us and kill us. We got to demand our sovereignty and tell them, you know, we don't allow them to take that from us. We don't allow them to, um, you know, poke us with their needles and inject us with their poisons. But we also have to forgive them because that's the right thing to do. We are one. I mean, that is an aspect of us. It's just a different aspect of us. And we have to learn to be kind and love that aspect of us. Um, send them love and forgive them. But be stern and let them know, mm -mm, you don't have power over me. And that's how the light's going to win. And uh, Laura Eisenhower talked about this in her video on YouTube. You guys should really check her out. Her great-grandfather was the president, President Eisenhower, and she goes in to detail about claiming your sovereignty. You should definitely check her out. And definitely check out Magenta Pixie's latest, I think it's her latest video. Um, the beginning part was like, uh, okay, you know, but the ending part was really, I love this song. The ending part was excellent. It's about dragons, the metaphor. Go listen to her metaphor about dragons. I'm, I'm riding my dragon. I'm not on the tail of the dragon. I'm riding the dragon. I'm guiding my dragon, my dragon. And if you wanna know what I mean, you have to watch her video. So much stuff is just like, so many validations are coming up and it's just amazing. I'm so happy and you know shifting my the way I think I think that's the reason why I got the approval to close why I feel so happy why I feel so positive why I feel so light because I stopped playing in this duality and entered neutrality and I'm observing I'm playing the role of the observer we are one Everything that is around us is a projection. It's a, uh, everything that comes at you in your life is a projection of what you put out. And if you're getting a lot of things that are negative hitting you and coming into your life, you need to look within yourself to see what you're putting out. I'm sorry this video doesn't really have a, a point, I guess, or a subject. It's just a little all over the place out there. I just wanted to pop on, say hello, see how you're doing. Talk a little bit. Didn't really know what I was going to talk about. Just what came out is what came out. And there's a hawk. The hawk. But yeah. That's all I got for you guys today. I do have a video that I want to put out for you guys. But definitely, please go check out, I think her name is Laura Eisenhower. Go check out her video about how to take back your sovereignty. And check out Magenta Pixie's latest video. And listen to it until the end when she talks about the dragon metaphor. That may validate, that may be validating for a lot of you. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I love you. Be kind to yourself.
and be kind to others. Bye.